everybody, and welcome back to Tactical Breach Wizards, a fun, a fun puzzle game. <laughs> Combat puzzle game, very fun. I like that she has these marshmallow ro roasting. That's very cool, very fun. Uh, definitely not that what that is. Last time we uh, <laughs> broke into a chapel to steal a recording of some stuff which is fun and we have quite a bit left in this act and then we have a whole fourth act but i'm definitely looking forward to it haven't really had a chance for these to pop off really i mean these i get this is just for confidence but this is severely underutilized and then uh yeah nothing new on the chart here even though it does say that she's not on our team and it does have another spot for someone. So I'm assuming our team isn't uh, isn't full, which I'm assuming we'll probably get the, the next or the last character uh, in that uh, in that final act there. But uh, for now, let's jump on in and see what's next on our agenda. The Chapel of the Closed Fist. Last week. <laughs> With the greatest respect, Chaplain, uh, I think this is a gross overreaction. The insurgency will blow over, it always does, and if we commit to a year to war with Medill, now we can't play the card for another five years. <laughs> Uh, it's not about the rabble rousings, ra rabble rousers, Felgo. It's about the mana. My singers in Laboli have seen the tests firsthand. The damn stuff is militarized now. It's not a theory, it's working. And the world's supply sits beneath a country that is rightfully ours. Piran is right. Is that, how, is that how you pronounce your name? P. Ran? Or Paran? Paran is right. We cannot let faithless nations build armies of casters while we sit handcuffed to our principles. We are not considering using it ourselves, I trust. The Pantheon's edicts have been very clear. I tell you what the Pantheon says. <laughs> When I'm damn well written, when I've damn well written it, I won't be the chaplain who lets Kalan's last chance at supremacy slip through our fingers. We move on Medill. Any, I'll announce it in Friday's sermon. Holy shit. Well, there we go. That Oh, that was the recording. Oh, okay, duh. Was that as bad as it sounds? So much worse than we dared to hope. We wanted something with a kick. We got nitroglycerin. The Medill stuff is what we wanted. I never dreamed he'd just openly admit the lie about the Pantheon. I'm gonna derail things and ask for a primer on the Pantheon. You know we honor our dead here, right? more than honor you'd call it worship the chapel claims their high priest can hear them all speaking as one that's the pantheon there's a history to the real thing but the chapel's version is just a free pass to claim everyone who's ever loved is asking us to <laughs> do what they want and now we have the head of the church and state outright admitting they made it up this is fucking checkmate. God, I hope Hesia saw this before he was blown. I'd kill to go down knowing... I'd kill to go down knowing I got the bastard this good. Should get some moderates fired up. <laughs> Doll size. Probably not. Seriously? Now we hit the other brick wall we've been fighting. Oh, by the way, I did change his outfit to be the uh, the one we just unlocked, the, the last one to unlock, just because I felt like it. 
Uh, yeah. We can leak this on the free net tonight, but only tech-savvy kids with jailbroken phones will see it. They're already with us. Chapel controls the legal internet and every TV station, everywhere your centralist dad gets his information. We can't get through to the chapel's base till we break down that wall. But this is a megaton we drop when we do. Surely you'll make waves outside of Kalan. It might make the news, but what good does that do us? What information is new here? Your countries already know the chapel is a surveillance state di dictatorship with a mandatory religious religion enforced by police brutality. Hasn't moved any of them to action in the last 20 years. The DSR did oppose impose sanctions. And the people of Kalan, thank you for cutting us off. The chapel didn't want foreign goods reaching us anyway. It just means that it just means the only tech we have access to is made by the institution we're fighting. Fair point. I'll shut up. <sighs> I'm not trying to shut you down. I'm just tired. I'm tired of being told we have the world's moral support by nations that won't commit a single dollar to actual support. We're not even asking for troops. A shipment of Freenet phones would have turned the tide at Chalice Square five years ago. Is there a plan to get this out? I've heard rumors, but there's a strike ready to go, that there's a strike ready to go, just waiting on the payload worth the blood price. Could be bullshit though. I'm just a soldier. They don't tell me what I'm hitting next till it's time to hit it. I might spill it to foreigners like you. A slight smile. <laughs> sounds like tomorrow. Sounds like a tomorrow problem. Yeah, I don't want to spend tonight talking politics. Wins this big don't come down, come around too often in a fight like ours. There's an old military tradition from the 1600s. If your victory spared no blood, then it costs you. Oh. If, a vic if your victory spared more blood than it cost, you drink the difference in claret. We drink the blood of the dead? No, it's the blood of the living, right? She gets it. Can't speak to the symbolism, but the blood math checks out. Come on, we've got three cases of 1975 we liberated from the minister's cellar, and he would be- he would fucking explode to know that foreigners and faithless traders and faith traders uh, were the ones who got to drink it. A hey, party! Cheers, baby! Those are actual, like, real guns. Those aren't, like... Yeah, those aren't, like, wizard guns. Those are, <laughs> like, that straight up just gun gun. To the few friends who joined the Pantheon today, we carry their voices and their voices carry us. And to the many who didn't. Thanks to the foreigners, with the dirty tricks and ridiculous hats. Oh, that was it. <laughs> okay, more stuff here. Let's start getting the Kalan situation on here. Okay. Oh, this is the DSR that imposed sanctions on Kalan and then Liboli. Okay, let's see here. Dal Sabin, the rebel riot priest. Oh, okay, that's just... Likes trucks, dogs, wine, welding, brutally strong cheese. Dislikes, I've decided my life... I've dedicated my life to gutting the regime that's choking my country. Are you... <laughs> you're really asking me what I dislike? Oh, put olives. Fuck olives. They're like... <laughs> if salt could vomit. 
the fuck? Sometimes I break into the Parkside Vehicle Depot and jam defective tear gas grenades inside their condensers. So next time they roll out to chase us, they'll choke on the, uh, their own fucking smoke. Used to play hockey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, these are like two separate thoughts. I was like, what the fuck? Uh, Doll's an icon in the call. Kalani resistance every DSR news piece on it uh, still uses the photo of her smashing into the wall of riot police priests at chalice square we always assume she was one of those who, them who defected but apparently she never was she stole the armor from one she killed because she's fucking hardcore what photo show me that's the photo uh, I used to fix cars. I still fix cars. Now she fi she used to fix cars. I still fix cars. Now she fixes and customizes her own armor. Ask Azan for his input. We'd be screwed if Dalt hadn't taken us underground. Oh. Oh, was that button always there? I feel like I, it never was. <laughs> The first chaplain said chapel uh, are going to declare the war on Medell on Friday. Wait, so if I go here and I... Okay, 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 good. Anyway. So let's see here. What did that say? Sheltered us at... Oh my god, I can't fucking read this. Oh, I can zoom in. Okay, good. I was about to say... Uh, sheltered us at the rebel hideout. Oops. Wow. What a connection. Uh, lives going Kalan. Okay. Not actual location, obviously. We didn't realize how urgent we'd need a safe house when we got to Kalan. So thanks to, thank God Dahl took us in. We're in the same dis disused maintenance tunnels beneath the old city. It's the one many hideouts the resistance used to plan ops against the chapel. Cool. And then right here, the chapel. The chapel is both church and state in Kalan, and it started harmlessly enough as stricter uh, interpretations of Chorism, which has always been Kalan's primary religion. But since most of Kalan's uh, secular groups split off from to form Medill in the 70s. The religious r r literal fascist <laughs> has uh, gained tighter and tighter control over Kalan's Kalanis lives and freedoms. Uh, let's see here. No, the chapel engaged in ethnic cleansing as early as the 50s. Uh, no, Kalani was uh, the national faith before 1720. That's where Kalan comes from. This is why I asked you to write this one. <laughs> Fine. All you need to know is what we're fighting for. The right to elect our own leaders. The right to worship any or no religion. A publicly accountable justice system. The release of all surviving persons incarcerated without trial all four classified as heresy okay and then Kalan let's read the D or Medell sorry let's read the details here Medell declared independence from Kalan in the skeptic revolt of 1970 since then it suffered repeated invasions from foreign powers looking to secure its nature natural resources including the world's primary source of the mineral used to make synthetic mana these days the dsr occupies medill medill with a force almost com entirely composed of contracted reactor troops but now reactor have gone rogue Doll, please fact check. The Kalan stuff is close enough. Ask a Medellian about the rest. Oh, hopefully we will. <laughs> uh, chapel leaders have often claimed Medill uh, still rightfully belongs to Kalan, but this uh, is the first time since the revolution that it's come to an outright war. 
and then they're ready to invade. And how, and how this recording fits in. Okay, we got quite a few more things. What does that say? Obtained. Oh, okay. Our team. Okay, okay. Uh, so let's see here. Chapel of the Closed Fist. Chapel Military Command. Apparently the chapel's key institutions are each modeled after a core value they preach. The Closed Fist is about showing no mercy to the faithless, and this is where they plan their military ops. The Resistance got an agent inside and recorded the first chaplain being way too honest about their reasons for invading Medill. Chapel of the Civil Tongue. Chapel's main broadcast center. All state authorized media in Kalan is controlled from this huge tech hub. From TV channels to state sanctioned internet, if you want to get something in front of the average Kalani uh, family, it has to come through here. And this. Ooh, look at that. Okay, the recording. Chapel will kill to suppress this. A resistance agent's man managed to record the first chaplain telling his advisors they're only invading Medill to secure its mana mines and that they've been lying about communicating communing with the dead to justify it. If enough people see this, it could make an actual difference to the chaplain's stronghold in, or the chapel's stronghold in Kalan. So let's see. Revealed motives of... Ah. Disconnect. Disconnect false connections. Okay, well... Let's see here. Do I have exactly where is it? Revealed motives of these guys? No? Oh, the chapel right here. Revealed motives of the chapel. Yeah. Uh, made at this, right? Yeah. Must be broadcast to this. One connection left. Oh, obtained. There we go. Okay. All of which adds up to this stuff. Oh, wow. It's really south. The brakes. Samia. Anyway, mana dust. From the mines of South Medill, the rarest ingredient in synthetic mana is beryllium calcite. Calcite. And the most and most of the world's supply comes from the mines in southern Medill. It's been a valuable resource in the energy industry for decades. But now that there's worship whispers of reactor finding a military use for synthetic mana, global powers like the chapel are taking an even keener interest in controlling it. From the mines here, beneath the central reserve. The rarest ingredient in synthetic mana and the most of the world's supply. Blah, blah, blah. Southern mines. Uh, the DSR always been shady about the DSR has always been shady about what they were mining it for. But now that there's whispers of reactivating a most <laughs> military use for it for synthetic mana is becoming pretty obvious now global powers like the ch chapel are taking an even keener eye into controlling it okay so reactor has a use for this and then the chapel wants yeah the chapel wants this hey that all makes sense to me no rush in no rush if you want to rearrange or go over the details, though. Cool. So that's it there. We got a new dream, apparently. We do. The Shining Armor. Judas Priest. <laughs> Armored Escort and Three Doors. Oh, only Banks and Doll. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Okay. 
Very cool. <laughs> of course, as soon as I talk shit about it, we get some new fucking chats here. Very cool. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, you've been quiet since we got to Kalan. You've been quiet since we got to Kalan. Because we're wasting our time here. Overthrowing a fascist regime and regime and stopping a war? It's not our fight. We should be focused on Kennedy. It's urgent. The stakes are huge and we can help. You can help later. I've got six months to live and I want to make damn sure Kennedy hits the morgue before I do. My God, Dessa. I had no idea it was that short. I'm sorry. It's dumpy. I just threw that out for effort, for effect. <laughs> Truth is there aren't enough cases for an ac accurate prognosis. So I get to live in limbo till that happens. That's awful, I'm sorry. I get that it's personal with Liv, but can I just make the Kalan case to you? It seems inevitable. This might be a war we're here to stop. This might be the war we're here to stop. I'm not here trying to stop a war. I'm here to kill the piece of shit who locked me up and forced me to serve her at gunpoint. Okay, that's why you came. But as a doctor, when there's a crisis, <laughs> don't you drop everything to help? When I was a surgeon, maybe. But this power, my craft, I can save people no one else can. That's my focus now. Someone else can help Milan. Only we can stop Kennedy. Zan's the only one who can react before she hits. You're the only one with the tools and talents to track her. And I'm the only one who can resurrect you when you get yourself killed again. Uh, what if only we can help Kalan? We're scalpels, not hammers. I'm new at it, but it seems like fighting a regime with a thousand times your manpower is very much a scalpel problem. When you've got a medical degree, you can tell me <laughs> what's a scalpel problem. It's not a degree level analogy, Dessa. We can all grasp the concept of precision. Oh, she does have a spine in there somewhere. Did it take a medical degree to figure that out? <laughs> Hell yes. More spicy. Hell yes, more spicy gin in the future, please. I feel like you were losing this argument and you've somehow made it about me, but in sort of a nice way that's making me feel weird and unable to refocus. That was the play, yeah. You think I'm that talented? <laughs> Don't get it twisted. It's just a fact. Jen doesn't know where to look. You found me in the middle of the desert in another country inside of two days while on a lamb on the lamb. What else would you call it? Dumb luck. I actually found you the same night, but we had to wait for the ferry. <laughs> you took the ferry to break me out? We don't have a chopper. You couldn't spring for a flight? We're on the lamb. Ugh. Should have stuck with the mafia. Okay. We have no leads anyway. Why not help out till we do? Because it's a huge risk. Chapa don't kill people if they can't help it. If they can help it. They lock them up so they can't be martyrs. Killed I can fix. Captured, I can't. I've been jailed two times this week. Long, <laughs> long as I have this gun, 
there won't be a third. Is this going to be a problem? One more. You've got me for one more chapel op. Then I'm back on Kennedy. With or without you. I'd prefer with. Okay, so she's got uh, some unresolved things. She doesn't really care about this whole deal. So you're still a believer after all this? So you're still a believer after all this? I'm a chorist? That's my faith, not the chapel. The chapel is a regime that's taken the threads of our belief and used them like puppet strings. Chorism runs deep enough in Kalan that it's worked on far too many people for far too long. What threads are dead? They're the closest thing we have to what you might call a god. We listen to them and honor them above all else. The real chorism, chorism, is about learning to heal, hear those voices and honoring their wishes in ways that make sense. The chapel's version is that only they can hear the dead and you go to their priests to find out what your loved ones want you to do. So where does the Pantheon fit into all this? Are there a lot of chores in the resistance? Maybe a stupid question, but do you literally talk to the dead? Are there a lot of you in the resistance? Most of us. This isn't a secular revolt. We already had one of those in the 40s. That's how Medell got independence. So where does the Pantheon fit in all this? It's all of them in chorus. Hence, chorus. Uh, I'm an idiot. And chorism is an abstract concept. It was an abstract concept, something that unites us. Whoever we are, the love we have for the people we've lost reaches up to the pantheon and connects us. Go far enough back and someone I love loved someone you loved someone you love. I showed my respect to them by respecting you. Like a distant, annoying cousin. Chapel made it a tool of control. They say anointed priests of the highest tier can hear the Pantheon like it was a single voice. They have privileged access to what all of our dead families are telling us to do. If you come to it cold, the lie is blatant. But if you're raised into it, it runs deep. Maybe stupid question, but do you literally talk to the dead? Ever lost anyone? Yes. You can't hear their voice when you want to. Not enough. You get better at it. Like craft. If you're told it's not possible, you'll never try hard enough to truly do it. Okay, so it's more like you imagine them talking? Uh, what does getting better at it look like? I can't do puzzles. My partner could. If I try one now, I ask him, Jitta, what's this bullshit? <laughs> and it'll come to me. Not the full solution. I'll never be as smart as him, but some flash of insight he would have he would have had, and I can take it from there. If I died first, he'd be sitting here telling you he can fix cars by asking me what the problem is. I'm so sorry. How long has it been since this pass? Can you tell me something about him? Uh, how long ago was it? Two years now, killed by a riot priest. He wasn't even protesting. 
He cared about the fight more than I did. But the truth is, we'd probably never had stooped up to the stood up to the chapel. But now I'm locked in with his fire in me, and I want to make them feel the full pain of that mistake every time I suit up. Can you tell me something about him? Like what? Anything? He believes in me like no one else. Told you I'd never be as smart as him. I can already hear him jumping in to defend me. He'd be telling you I'm a genius with engines. He'd tell you I invented the carburetor, <laughs> which I didn't. He didn't tell you. He'd tell you that I won a hockey tournament for our team with my playbook of dirty tricks, which I guess I did. I used to carry his beliefs around with me like a torch. It lit up all the things I could I could do. Now I carry it like a combustion engine. Jen leaves a respectful pause. He sounds great. He is. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for giving a shit. Oh, nice. Uh, oh, they're all a lovely, lovely team. Oh, I super like this setup. Can I not really take a look at it? Got like the broken sword from uh, that Lord of the Rings thing. <laughs> Essa Banks. Oh, so Vesker, Kellen, Sabin. Okay. I just love the dead body parts right there. Man, this game is such has such a cool aesthetic. But okay, not uh, no combat this time, surprisingly so. I'm actually quite surprised by that because I was getting to the point where I'm like, I'm not going to have enough time. Like, it's going to be a long episode because I haven't even gotten to the to the actual mission part. But no, that actually took up enough time to where uh, we can jump into the action next time, have a little break get to talk to all of our friends have quite a bit of fun interactions here with everyone i think uh jen and dessa got a little flirty i don't know <laughs> seemed like it not gonna lie but yeah good stuff we will uh we will jump into the next one in the next one i got just a couple more here to get the private eye. Nice trench coat. And the white witch. Oh, and that puts a snowing effect on her. That's cool. Do the others have anything like that? I can't even look at this. Oh, I forgot how cool that one looked. The WizTech one looks sick, too. Anyway. Uh, what about you? Did yours? You got the drippy blood, but I think that's on everything, right? Yeah. But I do like this. This is so sick. That is such a sick look. I want that so bad, but also I don't care enough to. <laughs> this is very Sam Fisher. Which is cool. I've always liked the, the green and black aesthetic. It's always always hit home for me for sure does she have one like that i don't think so no um i don't think she did either oh no she had this one which is kind of but this one's way better okay well anyway i'm done uh, of gushing over this game i'll see you in the next one